Electronic Arts was a huge publisher for the Sega Genesis. And what I'm doing is taking this large publisher and breaking down their games published by year, talking about them, ranking them on my channel, the immortal John Hancock here. And I have a video covering all of EA games published for 1993. I personally have some favorites that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And what I'm doing is I'm taking their games and giving them a grade and giving a mini review and sharing gameplay footage of why I like or dislike these games. And so I've done several of these on my channel. If you wanna review the playlist, the link is below where I've done several of these and have covered other years for EA. I'm gonna be covering all of EA published games for the Sega Genesis eventually. This is the third one I've done. You can have your favorites. I definitely have mine. And I want you to sit back, relax. Hope you enjoy the video. First up is Bob. And this is an action platformer, which you're a teenage robot. You crash your dad's vehicle and you have to get through 45 different levels. I like this game. It is far from perfect. It is a little clunky on the gameplay and a little slow, but I can forgive it because I think there's a great game hidden underneath some of the technical difficulties of this game. I think there's a lot to like, and I think you will like it as well. There's several different weapons and gadgets to get in the game. It's a B for me. If you're a college football fan, you may enjoy Bill Walsh College Football. This is the first one released on the Sega Genesis, and there is a lot of great things about this game. Tons of teams, 48 teams. Uh, it's got a great playlist. It does have kind of an arcade feel to the gameplay. Running's a little loose in it, but I think if you're a fan of college football, I prefer NFL football. It also has four player support. People are gonna enjoy that. It does have passing windows. Some people don't like that, but it's still B for me. EA was hitting its stride with Blades of Vengeance, and this is not a computer port made specifically for the Sega Genesis. Take one of three fantasy characters going through various action platform levels. Lots like here. There's different items and magic to utilize. Very difficult game, but that two-player option and the graphics and gameplay are excellent. This is an overlooked game that is an awesome option for people that may want to try something different than Golden Axe. Check it out. It's an A. Bulls versus Blazers and the NBA playoffs continues the evolution of this series, a series that I just really struggled to get into. There's 16 different playoff teams here, including the all-star teams, new moves, you know, and it advertises all sorts of updates from the previous versions of this game, but to me, it's still slow and chunky uh, gameplay. Some people may really enjoy this game. For me, it's just average. I really struggle to get into this game as I'm a fan of like NBA Jam and NBA Jam Tournament Edition games, especially for 16-bit. It's a C. Another exclusive flight sim, and this is F-117 Nightstorm. And this has uh, some options of arcade and campaigns. You can set the difficulty. Another game hampered by bad frame rate and slow gameplay. If you can get past that and you like more of a sim flight game, you may want to check this out. Me personally, I would rather play a game that runs a little bit better. This definitely has not aged well and it's a C. EA's first Genesis game came out in stride, and that's FIFA International Soccer. Has a multitude of options seen in other sports games EA did, and this is a great soccer simulator. There's lots to enjoy here, many different teams and moves. The sound effects are above average. I think for the first one that they made, this is an excellent option. Really like that four-player support. I found myself getting into this. Haven't played it in quite a bit. A good soccer option for the Sega Genesis, and this is a B. And here are the rankings through the first six today. If you're looking for a multiplayer strategy game, look no further than General Chaos, and this is a comical take on a battlefield scenario. Four squads to choose from that specialize in different weapons, 
and there is a lot to like if you like these types of games. Now, I played this back in the day. It definitely was advertising that EA four-player adapter, which makes this game a lot better. I think that this game is going to be most appreciated with four players playing against each other. I found the computer to be fairly cheap, but this is still an excellent game, and it's an A. Another really creative game that EA published was Haunting, starring Poltergeist, and I really enjoy this game. This is a Halloween favorite as well. And essentially, you're trying to scare a family out of its house by possessing different items of furniture in this house, and you're trying to go after each family member that has awesome animations, and uh, when you run out of ectoplasm, you have to go to these like dungeon levels and replenish your meter so that you can continue to scare the family members. This is an excellent game and an A. James Pond 3 is a huge puzzle platformer and there is a ton of game here, over a hundred levels. And this one plays differently than the previous two. Some may like or dislike this game because of that. I was, to be honest, a little overwhelmed playing this game. There's so much to do and figure out. It is a collect-a-thon. There are a ton of gadgets to unlock and secrets. This is an above-average platformer and a B. The sequel to one of my favorite Sega Genesis games, Jungle Strike, and they took the success of the first game and continued to not mess with it, adding additional levels, lots of excellent vehicles. You can control some different vehicles in this game. I absolutely love this game. This is the sweet spot of the series, you know, taking the success of the first one and just raising it a notch. I think this is a wonderful game, one of the best on the Sega Genesis. Both Desert Strike and Jungle Strike are an S. This is an S. Totally recommend it. One of the best games that EA released. Lotus 2 Rex is an excellent sequel to an already good racing game. I enjoy this one more as I think it refines a little bit of the gameplay. It's just fun, classic arcade racing and it kind of takes me back to a more simpler time. This is an excellent racing game. Tons of tracks and courses as well as I felt the, the music in this game really matches kind of the experience. You can also customize your own tracks, which is an additional bonus. This is definitely a solid A for me and one I recommend checking out. I ranked all the Maddens in a previous video. Here's what I said about Madden 94. Madden 94 is bigger and not better, okay? Uh, I, I think though it has 80 teams, okay? Running is a little bit too easy in this game. I found it just too easy and tackling is just a little bit more difficult. And so that kind of takes away from it. Um, you know, for some people, they're going to like that. Uh, for me, I would prefer 93 over 94. It all depends on what you grew up with, what experiences you had, and what you got used to playing. So in my opinion, I think 94 is good. It's a solid B. B is good. And here's the ranking after the first 12 of this video. In my opinion, one of the best classic sports games ever made, and that's Mutant League Football. Taking that success of the Madden games and having a little bit of fun. This is a wonderful game, especially people that aren't really into traditional football. And there's a lot of humor and animation in here. There's 16 different teams. There's crazy wicked plays. There's even like a halftime where you can take out the marching band with TNT. An over-the-top experience and one that I appreciate more now. A total S. Play this game even better. Play it with a friend. You're going to enjoy it. I think many would agree that NHL Hockey 94 is a sweet spot of classic hockey games and one of the best sports games on the Sega Genesis library. Everything about this game is on point. The control, the selection, the options, the teams, the players. There is a lot to appreciate about this. It's the balance of arcade and sim. It's not too sim, uh, the, the, but it's fast and furious. And I like myself some, some arcade style gameplay, and this has it. Uh, there's one timers, there's battery backup, there's new expansion teams of the time. Uh, there is a lot to like in this game, and you must check this out. If you're a hockey fan, one of the best of the era, it's a total S and one I don't think you'll regret playing. 
another excellent arcade sports experience and that's super baseball 2020 now i played the neo geo version of this game and i thought this translates well on the sega genesis is it perfect no but there's a lot to like about this game tons of different teams you can choose uh, teams made up of males females and robots lots to enjoy here uh, there's power-ups there's different things that you can customize your team with Totally check it out, especially if you're kind of a non-sports fan looking for something different. It's an A. Another overlooked gem on the Genesis, and that's Techno Clash. And if you're a fan of games such as Gauntlet, you may like this game. Now, it is only a single-player experience, but there's a lot of complexities to this game. You can choose many different types of weapons and spells. And, you know, I found myself really liking this game. Uh, is it as good as Gauntlet 4 on the Genesis? Absolutely not. But if you're looking for something different and you like those types of games, there is a lot to like in this game. You uh, can choose from two different characters. There's nine different combat weapons. And, you know, uh, while it's a little rough around the edges, I think the, the, the background sometimes can be confusing on where the enemies are. I think many are going to like this game. And this is a B. Tony La Russa Baseball is an example of a game I remember enjoying more than playing it now. And playing other Sega Genesis games on my channel and going back and revisiting some games in my library, this one now, now falls short. Uh, the, it's got choppy animation. It just doesn't deliver a great baseball experience. Some may remember this more vividly and fondly than I do. Stacked up to some of the other baseball games on the Sega Genesis. This is currently a D. I know that there's some divisive opinions of virtual pinball as I'm a fan of video game pinballs and so I prefer Crew Ball or the Dragon's Fury on the Sega Genesis, but there is a lot to enjoy about this game. Now the graphics are not the best, but you can choose from 29 different pre-made fields in this game. You can also make your own fields, which is an advantage. This is a follow-up to the Pinball Construction Set Computer Classic. Now, not my favorite pinball game, but there's a lot to like about this, and it's a B for me. So here's the final ranking. And if you like what you see, I've done several other ranking videos. The link will be below for those. You can rank these yourself, and there'll be a link below for that. Thank you so much for continuing to tune into my channel and having a lot of fun doing these ranking videos. They take quite a bit of time, especially larger publishers such as EA, but I enjoy sharing this information with you. So what did you think? What are your stories connected to the games I shared with you today? What are your favorites? Do you have any memories? I'd love to hear the backstories that you have connected to these games as well. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week, different videos, having a lot of fun of covering different things on my channel, doing product reviews, ranking videos, even a bad game series, and that has been very popular. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.